Hello everyone, today I'll show you how to set up Sublime for Unreal Engine. Uh, and first I'll talk about the difference in speed between Sublime and Visual Studio, especially when compiling your code. And then I'll show you my workflow in Sublime. And then I'll show you how to build and run uh, your project from the command line. So let's start with, open up with opening up our project. And I'll show you, uh, I'll start with the traditional workflow. So I'll start with Visual Studio. Um, so I'll go to my project directory, uh, third person templates. I'll just open, I'll just use a third person template for this project. And I'll open up the solution. Already, uh, Sublime, uh, sorry, uh, Visual Studio is taking some time to load. So uh, let's uh, build and run our project. So if you just click this little icon, uh, it will just build the project. Uh, development editor, Win64 um, for you, and then uh, it's going to open it up. Now, uh, in a minute, we'll see what uh, goes uh, under the hood when you click this button. Uh, so. So we'll be able to do the same thing uh, from the command line. So we have our project here and let's make, let's create a new variable just for testing purposes and uh, compile our project. So I'll just create another uh, variable of, uh, of another uh, camera uh, just to see how long it takes when we just create a new variable and do some stuff with it. So I'll just uh, call this camera one and I'll go to the CPP file and set it up. So I'll just copy all of this code here and I'll paste it. Uh, instead of follow camera, we're gonna say camera one. Um, same thing for here. Let's actually get this. Uh, and let's make this. Okay. Oops. Uh, okay. I know I'm not uh, super fast. Uh, but I'll get there, hopefully. Okay, so we just created a new variable called camera one, and we just set it up the way follow camera is set up. It's the exact same thing. So let's um, compile our changes and see how long it takes. Oops, uh, I forgot to save it. We need to save it, obviously, before compiling our changes. <laughs> I was like, why isn't it a compile? <laughs> uh, okay, uh, now you can see the problem here. We re it requests, requests 1.5 gigabytes free memory per action, but it's all, we, we have 2.53 gigabytes available. So we're limiting max parallel actions to one, which means that we're not doing any parallel actions, we're just doing them one by one. Uh, as you can see, it just it tells you here, building four actions with one process. And the reason is here, if I go to Task Manager, I can see that Visual Studio itself is already taking uh, twenty about 20% uh, of my memory. Now, Unreal Editor is also taking 13.7%. Uh, uh, so, uh, both of them together and a lot of Windows stuff that's uh, also taking a lot of memory. We don't have much memory left for uh, Unreal uh, Editor to compile, right? And if we go to live coding window, it takes us 58 seconds to compile this change. All we did was to set up one uh, variable and then set it up here. Well, well obviously these I call other uh, we call other functions too, but uh, 
it's not a lot of actions. Uh, now, if you have a lot of RAM, this might not be important for you, uh, but uh, there is a way uh, in which you can minimize uh, this time right here. So let's close Sublime and let's open, uh, sorry, let's close Visual Studio and let's open Sublime. So we're going to open a new file. So I press Ctrl and O. My bad, I should have said add project or open folder. So Control O is open file, my bad. Uh, we need to say open folder instead. So if I go to my Unreal projects, third person template, and now we have the folder here. So let's go to source and third person character dot H. So here where you can, here you can see the uh, component that we have just created. So I'll create another one for Sublime this time. And I'll call this uh, camera two. Let's save this. Let's open up the CPP file. And here, let's do the same thing that we did for camera one. So I'll just copy all of this code, paste it. Uh, Replace camera one with camera two. And uh, save this. And let's compile again. Now we have 4.9 gigabytes of memory available. And we limit uh, parallel actions to three. So we're doing three parallel actions and it's already compiled in just 11 seconds. Now the difference is a little bit more than five times. There's a five times difference in compile times. And as, pro as your project grows larger, this is uh, going to be even more. This difference is going to be even more. So that's uh, my case as to why there are benefits to using the Sublime, a lightweight text editor, compared to a full-blown IDE such as Visual Studio. By the way, other options, other uh, officially supported options, Visual Studio Code and JetBrains Rider, they take up a, up a lot of RAM as well. So they have the same prob uh, problem uh, if you, you'll have the same problem if you have a low-end PC uh, like mine. Well, mine isn't actually that low-end. I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, but still, there's a huge difference in compile times. If you have like 32 gigabytes of RAM, maybe you have enough space every time that, uh, uh, that you can run all your actions in parallel, so you won't have this issue. Uh, so, okay. Another thing is, without IntelliSense, how do I work in Sublime? And for example, if I want to create the setup attachment function, uh, but I don't know what uh, parameters I should pass in, what am I going to do? Am I going to open up the documentation uh, every time and look from there? Because in uh, IDEs, uh, like Visual Studio or Rider, it just gives you what, par uh, what parameters it actually wants. Now, the thing I do for that is I go to Project, I say Add Folder to Project, and I go to where Unreal Engine is installed. So I go to my home directory, and this is where Unreal Engine is installed. I go to Engine source and runtime now i press select folder and we have added the runtime library of unreal engine to our project this is where all the functions that you're gonna need is and once you 
add this, Sublime is super fa fast in finding those functions and you can just go there and look it up. So for example, this is another benefit of Sublime. It's just a super fast when it comes to stuff like this. This runtime uh, library is actually huge, but it doesn't matter. It's uh, passing this. So let me like rewrite this, this line. So let's comment this out. And I'll say camera two. And I'll say set up. And now you can see that it has recommended me this function because it know it, it found it from this front end library. Anyways, I see setup attachment. Uh, and I don't know what uh, what parameters to add. So what I do is I select setup attachment or my cursor is on there and I press F12. And immediately it takes me where setup attachment is defined. Now I can see what uh, I need. So I can, what I do is generally I copy this line and I'm going to paste it. Uh, my bad, uh, I'm using the motions. Okay, let me paste it like this. Uh, okay. So I have pasted here and now I know what this function takes. It takes an uh, in parent and it takes a socket name. So let's just say camera boom and you spring up component socket name. And now let's delete this line. So that's how I work uh, and that's how I find functions uh, and what, what to pass into the functions. And another thing is that you click F12 and you immediately go to function. And now you can see how uh, Epic Games has implemented this function too. So this is another benefit that you don't get uh, immediately. At least you don't get immediately uh, in other um, IDEs or text editors. Okay. So one more thing. I'll show you how to build and run from command line. Okay. Now. Sometimes, instead of, uh, let's open up Visual Studio, sometimes you might want to build from IDE. Uh, so let's close, let's close everything. Let's close our third person template. And let's open the solution file for our project. Now it's taking some time. And you can see that we, we can just build it from here. Now what happens when you click on this? What happens that it actually runs a command that you can run it yourself from command line. And then it runs another command that uh, opens up the editor. So if you click on this little drop down here and go to a third person template debug properties, obviously you're gonna have your own project in here. You go to debug properties and you go to nmake and you have this here. Let's copy everything here. And with that copied, let's go to, let's uh, go to sublime. Let's go to the, the top folder and click on new file. And I'm going to add this here. I'm going to save this file and I'm going to say, uh, call it build.bat. We're essentially creating a batch file which is used to run commands uh, from the command prompt in Windows. You can create a shell file uh, if you're using Linux or Mac, but I'm using Windows right now, so I'm creating a bash file. So I create build.bat, click on save. Now I have created the batch file. Let's go to our search bar and search for command prompt. Uh, I already have it docked here, but just to show you how to open it. So uh, here we have our command prompt. 
So what you want to do is to navigate to where your project is. So just type cd, which means change directory. And then go to the folder where your project is. I'll say third person template. So let's right click on this and let's copy the address. Let's paste the address. And now we're in the directory where our project is. And if I just type build, now it's going to find the, uh, it's going to run this command basically. But there is one more, one thing that we need to do here. It's a solution directory. Now this is set up in Visual Studio, but we have to put this manually here. So let's go. So we have already copied the path. So, so we go to our, we go to where our project is. We say copy address. We copy the address and we paste it here, add a backslash and save it. Now in command prompt, if you just type build, it's going to build it for you. And now how to open up the editor. We can create another batch file for that. So let's right click on the top folder. Let's create a new file. And here, what we're going to copy is the U pro uh, the path to U project file. That's all we're going to do. So here is our U project. Right click. Uh, and I'll say show more options. I'll say copy as path. And then I'm going to pa uh, paste it here. And that's all I'm going to do. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to save this. Uh, I press Control S for saving it. So I'm going to save this as editor dot at and save. Now inside the command prompt, if I type editor, it's going to up our uh, it's going to open our third person template. And I still have the command line open. So instead of live coding, if I want to do hot reload, I can just uh, type build here. And it's, it's just going to do a hot reload from here. OK, uh, that was my Sublime uh, setup for Unreal Engine. If you want to learn more, there is an awesome video. Uh, I'll just put it uh, here. There's an awesome video uh, made by Alex Forsyth uh, that actually goes uh, way more in depth about how to set up Sublime for, for Unreal Engine, when, what goes on uh, behind under the hood when you compile the project. If you're curious, please uh, watch that video as well. Uh, have a good one. Bye.